Hey guys, how you doing? Good? Alright, and today I'm going to be playing some Portal 2 Challenge Mode. So before I start, just want to quickly check, did any of you guys actually enjoy the new intro? Uh, if you did, look, you know, leave a comment down below if you did. Um, but yeah, for today, I just wanted to try something a bit different. I've played Portal 2 before on the co-op mode. I haven't done much of the campaign, honestly. I mainly played the co-op just because of the misses, but yeah, um, I don't know much about the challenge maps. I'm not sure how difficult they'll be, but yeah. I mean, the portal co-op focus wasn't too difficult, so I'm assuming this shouldn't be too bad either. Let's see. If the Earth is currently governed by... What's this? Fewest portals. So I've got to do... Use fewer portals and do it quick. Okay, fine. A manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. Chill the fuck out. That's what we're gonna do. Is this from the hey, campaign then? You made it. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. Oh, you bell end. Oh, so this is just the campaign, isn't it? Yeah, it is. What the fuck? <laughs> fucking hate. Is it Wheatley? I can't remember. Whatever his name is, I fucking hate him. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Come Rest on. assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots. Oh, shut up. Good. If you feel that a lethal military... Well done. Boom. So, essentially, the challenge maps are just the campaign just... What's it? Dumbed down somewhat. Oh, well. Seems easy enough. Let's go. What's this one? Da, 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 less than 40, under 6 minutes. Cool. Let's go. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in 3, 2, 1. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Oh, hang on. Uh, mm, yes. Yep, do that. And then do that. There we go. And then, is there another cube somewhere? Yep. Boom! Great work. Because this message is pre recorded. Any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Oh, safe, it's on the roof. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wait. Oh, so that's the one. What? what? So what's that bit for then? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Impressive. Boom. That's fine. I don't know how. Oh my God. I don't know how you can use only three portals in that one bit, but whatever. Wait. Is that? Oh yeah, fair enough. Hmm. Oh well. Next one. And okay. Under forty portals. Under six minutes. With fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space. Please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Oh, shut up. Right, okay, so I activate that. What does that do? It releases a cube there. So, best bet, do that. It, yeah. Boom! Spot on. Alright, so that's one part done. 
And right, so one button does what? What does this one do? Okay, that puts that up to deflect whatever the hell's coming through there. And this button releases another cube. Seems fair. Oh shit! Oh, I did stop it. Good. I didn't see it come through the other portal. Anyway. Impressive. Thank you. Next. Hmm. Nothing against the campaign of Portal, but eventually, over time, you get used to how like how it all works and whatnot. Nope. Yeah, that's fine. This next it's definitely a good game, very... Oh, I don't want to say intellectual, because that's giving it too much credit. But no, it is fun in its own little way. Now, remember this. Um, alright, yeah, hang on. I might be doing this incorrectly to begin with, but bear with me. What? Right, that is sort of the correct thing, but, hold on. I do that, the cube falls there. So what I need to do is, that's not what I'm supposed to be. I need to fire a portal down there, drop the cube into the hole, and it will catapult itself straight over there, and then I need to follow it. At least I think that's the way to do it, unless, no, that is the way to do it. Excuse me. Boom. And then, Boom! Sorted. Do this. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future. And the future starts with you. Sweet. Okay, um... Hmm. Just trying to think. Hmm. I mean, in simple terms, I'm assuming it's just shoot that there, jump down through the portal, shoot straight over to here. That's the simple version. Thing is, I need to get that over there. I'm guessing that's not over here, that's a shootable surface. So there's got to be another wall. Is it that? Could be that one. Hmm. Let's have a go. Hmm. Dare I drop it without actually... Yeah, fuck it. Come on. Yes! Did it... Ah, it landed over there. Good. Right. There we go. Sorted. And then... Alright. No, that's not going to... hang on. Oh, there. Okay, <clears throat> let's do this. Well... Well... Good work getting this far, future. So Impressive. Next. Oh, here we go. We got the lasers. Okay, cool. What? Oh my god, what? How the you fuck do I survive that? Incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of you that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device I... should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing. Does oh, I remember. Yeah, this is the part we find Gladys and she sent yeah, down here to continue. Oh, wow. To continue with the original game. Uh, the original game. Player. Good. You the original have a dual test. portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Oh, shut up, Gladys. We started testing this. This will be our only chance to talk. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? 
I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. Oh, yes. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. But the important thing is you're back. Congratulations. Is it just me or is her voice somewhat soothing? It might just be me, I don't know. But, yeah. Um, I don't know. Yep, cool. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Are you? What's the button for? Alright, we're getting in the ball. Where's the... Oh, no. Ah, it's that. gone and done it, hang on. I don't need to walk all around there, I just need to do this. Boom! Well done. Here come the test hood. Sweet. That's the thing with Portal. Like I said earlier, you can do like you can get most of these done in like a couple of minutes maybe. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Oh! Nasty. The smegging fog. Okay, right. Alright then, let's think about this. Right, I need another cube, but I have no idea where the hell I want to go about that. So, I have one that hits the roof and I have one that hits there. Hmm. Right. I can't get up from there. Um. Oh, hang on. Wait a minute. I think I've got it. There we go. Ouch, shit. Did it work? Well, that one works, but now I've got to get that sorted. <clears throat> okay, so I've got that. First things first, I've got to get this cube off onto that platform. Sorted. Right. Next step. Right. Okay, so far so good. Shit. And then... Congratulations. Aha! Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. Okay. Yay, not complete. Again, I don't know why, I just think her voice is soothing somewhat. Hmm, 
Oh well. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. Thank you. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Cheeky. Ah, this is one I remember. Okay, um... Right, first things first. Get over there. I think. Yeah. I need a companion cube. Thank you. come back and then climb the blue one from there. Hang on. Wait. And now. Pow. Three, two, ah oh, fuck it. I'll give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Good. Hmm. Okay then. Yeah, I'll do one more, why not? Let's see what the next test is. Yes. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well. Have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Again, this is familiar. There we go. Yeah. Oh, sick shot. There it is, I knew this bit seemed too familiar. Right. I do that, I'm the sorry. cube. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers. So you sometimes dick. there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage oh coming towards you. Just gonna let it go straight over me. See ya. Oh! CD! You don't have to test with the garbage. It's oh. garbage. Press the button again. But what about this radio? Fuck you, GLaDOS. I like the radio. Here comes the cube. Wait, shit, I've forgotten. Hang on. It's got to go over there. Oh fuck, I forgot how I do that. Um, goes through there. Oh hang on. Hold on. I don't think that'll work, but I'm going to try it anyway. It's not a bad idea, but I'm starting to think it'll be this one that I've got to fire it out of, we'll see. No! Good idea, it turns out. Hmm, try that one. Go on. Skadoosh. Bullseye! Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Oh, I love Gladys. Gladys is awesome. 
Alright guys, I'm going to end this video here, so if you did enjoy this video, leave a like down below, and then subscribe if you've been generous. So yeah, thanks guys, take care of yourselves.